This is a 1979 FXS. This is a mid-year model. 79, they came out with an 80 cubic inch. So you had the 80 cubic inch air cleaner with the little scoopy here. Has a different serial number here, a 7G number. But designated as an 80 cubic inch. Prior to that, if you wanted an 80 cubic inch on a low rider, you had to buy a kit which involved flywheels and cylinders carrying down the whole motor from Harley Davidson. It's right in the accessory catalog. This is a bone stock bike. We just put it back to stock. At this particular time, 79 was the last year, Harley Davidson sold the bike with one mirror. If you wanted to, you had to buy it separate. Has the correct Yankee turn signals and the correct mount here. This is an original paint bike. It was very, very common. People did not like the AMF owning uh, the Harley Davidson uh, mark, so they would tear off the AMF. This has been torn off. We carefully polish this bike, saving the AMF original area of, of the decal here. It's got 11,000 miles on this bike. 11,000 original miles. That's the original tachometer. She's super, super clean. This is a correct accessory uh, sissy bar. This is a correct Harley Davidson accessory. Little insignia back here and on this side over here. Bring it around this way. This is an accessory little sticker that you could buy on, on the back of the sissy bar right there. The seat is brand new old stock out of the box. All this silver. This is the way it came. This is the last year of the silver. Some of the early 80s they were using parts still had the silver, but uh, technically in the catalog in 80 did not have that. 79 is the very first year of this little sticker here on the oil tank. This is correct. This is the correct little accessory here. This is the first of your 80 there because it's 80 cubic inch. Correct front end, correct brakes. It had the black, it had the drag bars. The drag bars are mule stock. Technically speaking, it should have a little DOT sticker here. I'm out of new old stock ones, so I have to have some made. They're just not available. But uh, bone stock bike still has the AMF key with the Greg's cycle. Here, this is the original key. It says AMF on it, which is very cool. So, uh, you had to put on uh, some parts that they never come stock. We have to put it back to stock. This is a license plate bracket. It's the last year without a reflector here. This is new old stock. It has the correct rear brake, which is rebuilt. We rebuilt all the brakes. Correct exhaust. Correct master cylinder. We built this. All this silver, as I said, over here. This is all correct. This particular bike was missing. The original lifters I had to come up with a set of original lifters. That's original paint. Very, very, very nice machine now. We put it all the way back to stock. Technically speaking, in 79, you still had your black rocker screws. They did have the accessory chrome ones. These are the accessory chrome ones, so I left them. These are the correct early brackets, correct and correct numbered carburetor. It runs very, very well. It does have some solid lifters in it, which are aluminum, so a little more noisy than hydraulics, which are here. That's how she runs. We're going to fire it up now, take it for a little test ride, test the systems. This is a very, very nice bike. It's very hard to come by in this kind of shape. Runs like a brand new bike. Wow.
out about this bike. We were in Seattle. We drove all the way down, coming straight from Seattle to Clearwater, Florida. 